I've been a bit slow uploading videos and I've not been able to paint for a while because Amber and I have just moved into our first house. I'm actually in the room that is going to become my studio. It's a bit of a tip at the minute, but it will get there. But I didn't want to just not post any videos, so I thought I'd just do a short video on some new bits of kit that I've got that are going to help me with my filming and hopefully provide new and better videos. So I hope any artists out there that are looking to potentially get into filming their videos or getting into YouTube or getting into streaming will enjoy this video and find it helpful. I am not the most technically savvy person in the world, but a few months ago I decided I wanted to start live streaming my paintings for my patrons. Now, I did a little bit of Googling, and not gonna lie, it all sounded very, very complicated. Until I found a solution. You see, I wanted a streaming setup that let me show not just my painting, but also my palette and my face. I mean, who doesn't want to spend hours watching this face going as I'm concentrating on tiny details painting an artwork? Well, I did a bit of research and I came across these. The eMeet Streamcam Ones wireless webcams. And they are one of the most affordable wireless webcams on the market. And they come packaged really, really cool. So this is the package. They're small, they are lightweight, they are really easy to use. Each one comes with the webcam and it also comes with a mountable mic. This mic can be used on top of the camera like a shotgun mic or it can be attached to your t-shirt and use like a lavalier mic or a lavalier mic. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that, but it can be used like this. They also come with a little dead cat, so you can use this outside to just control a little bit of wind noise if you want to, which is something really cool and something that I'm gonna talk about later on in the video. I've actually got two setups for these cameras, one for if I'm filming tutorials and the other if I'm doing sort of like behind the scenes, like this is what I'm working on kind of live streams. I've not actually started doing those yet, but I am going to. I do have plans for it. But yeah, I will show you both of my future setups. The behind the scenes way of filming is a really simple setup. I use my phone and the eMeet app synced up to all three cameras. I have all three cameras set up at different angles. There's a really cool setting on the app that is called Auto Director Mode, which allows you to automatically switch between each camera angle by setting specific time intervals, which means I can get loads of cool different angles for my behind the scenes pictures. You can also do this manually by tapping each one that you want displayed, which is really, really good and really, really functional. You can also stream directly to YouTube. Although, as you can see, my internet is not the best, so I do actually struggle with uploading at the moment. But we are moving house soon, and the internet connection is like a thousand times faster, so I'm hoping I'll be able to do much better quality live streams once we're there. When I'm filming my tutorials, I do have a slightly different setup. Hopefully you can see that on the screen over here. I have my main cam which is what I'm painting. I have my easel cam over here. And then we've got my face cam, so you can see this lovely mug when I'm painting. There is a slight delay in real time, so like you can see my movements. It's not quite real time, but then no one's gonna know that if you're streaming unless they're in the room watching with you, so it's never gonna be noticed. In terms of support for each camera, I have this little mini tripod for my face cam. I have this Rode articulating mic stand. Let me just show you this a little bit more. This is completely articulating, so I can move it up, down, left, right, I can spin it round. Okay, this is one of the best additions I've got to my filming. It's so easy to use. You don't have to keep on unlocking things. It just moves, articulates, and holds in position. I also have this really cool 
ceiling mounted articulating camera arm that my dad built and this gets used so much. We actually made a video like back in my early days of YouTube showing how my dad built this camera arm so I'll leave a link to the description if you want to go and check that out. Obviously I am now in my new studio so the exact layout is going to be slightly different. I'm still hoping to have that desk set up that I had before with the folding table there so I can do my videos. I'm still going to have a little face cam there, still going to have a, an overhead shot and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get my camera arm fitted to the roof over there but we'll see what happens. Because I still want to be able to use that setup for live streaming and I cannot wait to start using those cameras properly. The wireless functionality of these cameras and everything that you can do on the app are so easy to use and they are so functional. It is fantastic, even for someone that doesn't really understand much about technology. They were dead straightforward and easy to get set up straight away. Another really awesome feature of these is that you don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. You can actually stream straight from your phone just using your mobile data, which I think is absolutely awesome. So in theory, you could take these absolutely anywhere as long as your phone has signal. If you've ever wanted to film yourself painting outdoors, you can do really easily with just your phone and these cameras. And tripods. These cameras don't just magically hover in the air. They're good, but they're not that good. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for bearing with me in this time where I'm moving, everything is just a little bit up in the air and we've got so many boxes that I don't know what to do with. I cannot wait to get painting and filming again. So hopefully that'll be soon. Please bear with me and I'll see you next time.